Well, good morning, good morning. Uh, thank you all for uh, being here today. Uh, joining me is uh, Steve Galasso, who is the president and COO of Cafe Italia, as well as Marco Lamandri, the chief executive administrator for all things uh, good in the world and Little Italy Association. Marshall Anderson, of course, who's the vice president of government affairs for the downtown San Diego partnership um, and the director of policy for Circulate San Diego, Maya Rosas. Maya, thank you for joining us. Uh, glad you're all here today, thank you. Um, we have talked a lot recently about what the city of San Diego is doing to safely and responsibly uh, reopen our economy. And together, we have made great progress in getting businesses up and running and helping to get San Diegans back to work. Um, business owners are opening their doors safely. Customers are visiting local businesses safely. Um, San Diegans are earning paychecks once again, all safely. Today, of course, we're in beautiful Little Italy, one of San Diego's oldest and, of course, uh, coolest neighborhoods. Um, and we are here um, to take another step forward as our region recovers from this pandemic. Um, as you know, many of San Diego's small businesses have been the hardest hit by COVID-19, especially our restaurants and our retail shops. Tens of thousands of jobs were lost. Uh, now, as these businesses begin to reopen and recover, they are faced with doing so under new rules. They will be operating, of course, at reduced capacity to maintain at least six feet between tables. Um, that results in a loss of operating space for businesses and unfortunately, it could mean fewer customers. It's not an ideal situation for many small businesses that rely on heavy foot traffic to be successful. Um, and so that's why today we are introducing a new outdoor dining proposal that will allow these small businesses to expand their operations outside of their front doors. They'll be allowed to maximize outdoor space to allow physical distancing and expand the number of customers that they can serve. We're talking about expanding their operations into parking lots, sidewalks, and on-street parking spots, among other spaces. One goal, it's going to allow for more seating, more customers, and more business. Uh, we also know that the last thing that these small businesses need as they recover um, is another bill to pay. So we are waiving the permit fees for hundreds of businesses so they can apply free of charge. Special event permits, like the ones we're talking about, typically cost $1,000 or more and can take months to process. Not only will there not be a fee for hundreds, we're cutting the approval process from months to days. We've launched an online portal that fast tracks the permit process so eligible businesses can get their outside storefronts up and running quickly and efficiently. Uh, we know the demand is there and that's what this is all about. In Little Italy, of course, India Street is being transformed uh, into an alfresco dining experience for hundreds of folks to enjoy. You saw some of that last weekend. Starting tonight, the Gas Lamp Quarter will welcome visitors from across the city for its own outdoor experience. Um, this plan is designed to bring that same outdoor dining citywide, citywide, so all communities can be a part of this very unique uh, experience. We are accepting permit applications now. The online portal is available, so interested businesses can get more information and start submitting proposals today. Uh, these fee waivers are in limited supply, so we encourage people to get more information and submit their applications starting today. Information is available on the city's development services website, um, and so I am confident that this is going to be a program that is going to be utilized. I'm confident this is going to be a program that is going to work. You saw a great response in Little Italy uh, here last weekend. Um, the opportunity now is to take this to neighborhoods across citywide as we reopen, reopen safely, uh, and give more of our small businesses the opportunity to not only succeed, but to thrive. That's what this is all about, is San Diego coming together to help other San Diegans. Uh, and with that, it is now my pleasure to introduce the president 
and Chief Operating Officer uh, for Cafe Italia, Steve Galasso. Steve, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for coming here today and spotlighting our efforts to reopen Little Italy and for using Little Italy as an example for other communities throughout San Diego. Uh, this Saturday, we're going to be operating our second alfresco dining here on India Street. Um, last Saturday was our first attempt, fairly successful. The most complaints we got from the public was people not wearing masks. So please, show us that you care when you come down this Saturday. Wear a mask. If you don't have one, the association will be in the streets providing free masks to people walking up and down the street. But please, show us you care. This was the biggest complaint we had last week. Let's make this second week of Alfresco Dining even more successful. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, a man of many words, as usual. Thank you, Steve. Uh, next up, of course, uh, somebody who needs uh, no introduction to many of you. Uh, been a huge part of the success and renaissance here in Little Italy uh, for a number of years. Uh, Marco Lamandri. Marco? The um, <clears throat> mayor has been a dear friend of ours for a long time. He was our city councilman, and because of the mayor and also working with uh, former councilman uh, Todd Glory and current councilman Chris Ward, this piazza exists, which allows us all to enjoy the best of San Diego. This is probably the best microclimate in the county. Being a native San Diegan and seeing what has transformed in Little Italy for the last 25 years is nothing but astounding. And then we hit COVID. And we all know that I was here at the middle of March looking up and down India Street, not one car on India Street, every single door closed on India Street. And I've got to tell you, for 25 years of trying to build this critical mass, it was heartbreaking to see that. But it's extremely rewarding to see the mayor taking the initiative that he has, doing the al fresco and trying to come back. We've been working with the association and all the different businesses on India in the 48 square blocks of Little Italy to try to figure out how could we come back as quickly as possible. And I think with the al fresco last Saturday, we did so. We're gonna do it again this Saturday. As Steve said, we're gonna have not only handing out masks, but we'll have sanitation stations all up and down India Street. There is this incredible balance that we're challenged with at this point to attract people to make sure they're physically distancing. We don't, COVID is here and it's not gonna go away easily, but we have to learn how to live with it. And I think with the outdoor dining, because we know from the CDC, the virus does not like outdoor environments. It's not really transmitted on surfaces. So our purpose is to try to get people to come here, come here safely, enjoy this outdoor environment. We have the best weather, if not in North America, in the world, and we have it year round. So our goal is to try to do as much outdoor dining as possible, bring all the employees back, allow the restaurants and retailers to survive, allow the residents to really enjoy this wonderful community that we've built, and encourage everybody to patronize their own communities, whether they be in Kensington, Normal Heights, North Park, La Jolla, Pacific Beach, Ocean Beach, Point Loma, Gas Lamp, et cetera. We all need to support our local businesses and get ourselves back on track in a different world, but back on track again. And I want to again thank the mayor, thank the city council for all the aggressive initiatives that they have taken to ensure that people can come back as quickly as possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Marco. And next up, as I mentioned, I'd like to introduce uh, Marshall Anderson from the Downtown San Diego Partnership. Uh, of course, has been taking a very uh, active role in some of the transformations that you're going to see uh, starting this evening uh, in the Gas Lamp Quarter. Marshall? Thank you, Mayor. And as the principal voice and advocate for the continued prosperity of downtown's neighborhoods, uh, we at the Downtown San Diego Partnership could not be uh, more excited to see this rethinking of public spaces start to take shape through curbside San Diego. With more than 35,000 residents and a workforce of essential and returning employees, curbside San Diego will provide enhanced dining activities and activate 
public space to maintain appropriate physical distancing, drive economic recovery, and support jobs hard hit by COVID-19. I want to thank the 13 community, business, mobility, environmental, and industry groups who joined us to bring this idea to fruition, including the Little Italy Association and Circulate San Diego. I also want to thank the City of San Diego and the Mayor's Office. Another shout out to Development Services who acted quickly to make sure this process could be accessible for not only downtown, but every business or special district citywide. I do want to echo what Steve said and stress the importance. Please wear a mask if you plan on coming downtown this weekend. Uh, like Little Italy, if you do not have one, uh, one of our clean and safe ambassadors will kindly provide you with one. We are confident that the reasons downtown has been strong in the past, the reasons we have all chosen to live and work together, will continue to serve us well as we navigate this next chapter. For more information about Curbside San Diego, please visit downtownsandiego.org slash curbside SD. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. Uh, and uh, last up, it's somebody who's really been a huge advocate for uh, mobility in all neighborhoods uh, across our, our city. He's been a partner from the very beginning uh, from Circulate San Diego, Maya Rosas. Maya, thank you. Hi everyone, thank you Mayor Faulkner for inviting me to join you today and for bringing forward the temporary outdoor business permit process. Circulate San Diego supports bringing brick and mortar businesses outdoors to facilitate San Diego's economic recovery. A couple weeks ago, we partnered with the Downtown Partnership and Achilles Coffee to help transform their outdoor space with physical distancing stickers and pavement tape. And we're excited to see projects ranging from stickers on the sidewalk all the way to full street transformations. So I'm very happy to see this innovative program moving forward. The outdoor business permit can support our local small businesses, create safer spaces for diners and restaurant workers, and creatively use the street to the benefit of all San Diegans. Opening streets and parking lots for flexible outdoor business uses is a logical next step in our region's recovery. Waiving fees and expediting the permit process will help communities across the city enjoy the benefits of this program. Particularly exciting is the plan to let businesses use their parking lots for outdoor dining, drinking, or shopping, creating more people-centered spaces. Now, many San Diegans will get the experience of streets that are retrofitted for people to enjoy and not just rush through. So thank you so much to Mayor Faulkner and a shout out to Elise Lowe with Development Services Department for making this happen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Maya. Again, thank you all of you for uh, joining us. I think there's gonna be some very positive transformation, transformative changes that we're gonna see in many of our uh, business districts uh, starting, as I said, uh, tonight. Uh, with that, uh, any one of us will be available to answer any of your questions one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thank you, guys. Thank you.